and I went and did a pickup order for Walmart for some weekly household essentials. So I'm going to hurry up and go through those really quick because I definitely need to get ready. So we have a pack of Angel Soft. We have Bounty Paper Towels. We have some Caesars Home Delights Dog Food. We have Frisky's Tasty Treasure for the cats. So that should last them for the week. We also have some Vinegar to clean my meats. We got some foil paper. I just needed to read up on that. I got some of these chili crisps because I want to try that um, dumpling chili thing. Our favorite Philly cheesesteak. They make sausage and cheese sandwiches in the morning and I like to use the Vermont sausage for that. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I can't stand doing too much dishes. So we like to have um, some spoons and we like to have some forks on hand. And I also use the spoons really every day to like get the girls cat and dog food together. Smart food popcorn, barbecue chips, goldfish. I know this seems like a lot of junk, but I promise you guys, um, I already have like a lot of meat in my freezer. I have a deep freezer and I have a regular freezer. So I have a lot of meat. It was just like just some extra stuff for the week. I got him this little Carter's outfit, which is adorable. I have like the dinosaur one, which is really cute. I also got the baby a bottle of this distilled baby water because you can just never have too much of that. I'm going to put these items away and then I'm going to hurry up and go upstairs. I'm just going to wash my face, brush my teeth. We woke up so late today, so I had to like hurry up and get things done and put on some makeup and get ready for the work day. Morning. Oh my gosh, I started today off so late. It doesn't even make sense, but it's already nine o'clock, so I do have to hurry up and get back to work. I just wanted to say hi and show you guys my little coffee mug for the morning, which says mornings are rough and it's totally fitting for today because this morning is rough. But anyway, I have a meeting popping in, so I gotta go. But once I get on my first break, I'm gonna come back on. I shine so bright, you might go blind. That's when I like to take a lunch because that's when at 12 30 that's when everyone starts to leave to go home since they're based in the UK. So I like to just take my I just like to work through the entire mornings. So from 9 a.m. to 12 30. So that way I can communicate and collaborate with my coworkers. During my lunch break, I've already like snacked throughout the morning. You know, I would run down every time there's a little break, I would try to get something to eat. So Anyway, the office is a bit of a mess. So I had one office for myself and it was one office for Robert. And since Liam 
is here now, we want to make sure that he has his own bedroom. So I moved my office or my desk and stuff like that into Robert's office. And so we're sharing an office. Robert is, he barely uses this office. I mean, he might use it once or twice a year. When he does use it, it's only for like maybe a month or two when he's in between projects. So he's normally, when he's working on projects, he'll actually be on site at that project for months at a time because these projects do last a long time. So we'll have to figure out how we can, I'm talking in on video calls a lot simply because I don't have a home-based office. So I'm doing a lot of video calls all the time. And so I do dress up from, you know, the waist up. <laughs> I, this is the one room that stays pretty much clean for the most part. So I do like to keep it clean. The rest of the house, I mean, the kitchen's clean, but the rest of the house is a heck of a tornado. Like we are literally in survival mode right now. So I don't want to waste too much time on my lunch break. I had the best idea. I'm gonna feel nothing like a Barbie doll, a Barbie doll. Cause then a broken heart wouldn't hurt it all, hurt it all. Nothing would be sad, nothing could be bad. The plastic smile won't fade. Hey, I'm gonna feel nothing like a Barbie doll. It's now 3.30 and... I am ready to end the workday. So I'm going to be touring a daycare with Liam. I'm waiting on my husband as well to get home. So I got to hurry up and get to my mother's house to go get him. But I just want to close out by saying, you know, this is real life. It is very hectic. I am in survival mode right now. But I do want to take the time to start to develop my character as a person. And I really want to start releasing these YouTube videos every week. I know I've been saying that for the past few weeks. I promise I'll stop saying it. But I do eventually want to have two more children. I'm approaching that 35 mark. And I basically don't want to have any children after 35. So hopefully by the grace of God, I will have two more children. Maybe another, maybe a girl, maybe another boy. It doesn't really matter. But I know God is in the midst to bless. So I'm just trying to take life slowly, trying to get through everything, trying to get through this motherhood and do what I need to do. I don't have a mount in the car yet, so it's really hard for me to shoot in the car. Otherwise, I will take you guys along with me for rides and stuff. I'm just getting things to me slowly, just seeing what works for me. And we're going from there. It's been a great work week. My clients have been amazing, even the ones who haven't seen me in weeks. They're super receptive to seeing me back. My coworkers are great. And so I'm feeling real good and I'm feeling a lot better as the weeks go on and it's gonna to continue to get better. Only time will heal. Only time will heal. So next week, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit more about Toastmasters. Toastmasters is a speaking club that you can join. And I've joined Toastmasters in the past year to improve my speaking skills. And it has truly transformed the way that I speak the confidence levels in the way I speak. And I've really been putting myself out there to challenge myself. And I think it's a great way to enhance professional development. If you guys want, I can do a video on ways that I've improved my professional development over the past few years. Because when I started this job, there was a lot of things that I didn't know. And there's a lot of things that I've grown, learned. And I've had great coworkers that have coached me along the way. I have great mentors that have coached me along the way. And Toastmasters has been one of those pivotal stepping stones to helping me improve my professional skills in the workplace. It's cheaper than college. You pay a membership every year. It's great. It's now like it's getting too late. So I got to hurry up and run out the door and go get my child and come back home so that we can go to his daycare or go to a daycare and tour it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today and you guys have an excellent rest of the day. Talk to you guys later or next week. You'll see a new video on Friday. Bye.